Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another SMC technical training video. During this video, we will show you how to use an Ethernet IP JXC91 for numeric mode closed loop operation with a PLC. During the video, we will show you the equipment, software, and steps required. In the end, we will have a PLC using numeric moves to drive an electric actuator. Let's get started. You'll need a PC, software, and Ethernet connectivity for communication. If you have not already, check out the JXC91 hardware setup video from our site. Then, watch the JXC91 controller and ACT software setup video. Then, review the PLC Ethernet module and IP address setup video. Finally, watch the step mode operation setup as a prerequisite for this video. Now, Let's get to the program and learn the numeric control. The status input data rung from the step mode video is still relative, as are the position indicators. We also still use the control output data rung as before. Now, let's look at the numeric mode programming rungs. Here, we see numeric status data rung for data outputs as per the operation manual. Once on, these bits control position, speed, acceleration, and other status values of the actuator as needed. Then, these data tables find and allocate the numeric variables being read from the JXC91 to the PLC. To continue, turn on numeric read, then all table data will come in from the controller, then turn on numeric mode to set whether you want an absolute or relative move. Pick an absolute move, entered like this, to avoid an alarm. Then other variables like setting the speed or position can be sent to the controller. Let's run with a speed of 5 and a position of 10,000. Turning on numeric drive, the actuator moves as expected. The status indicators are still available, like busy and in position. Then return to the actuator position 0. It uses the speed already in the register. Now change the speed and position a few times for practice. Like a speed of 300 and a 5000 position. And then a 10 speed and 10,000 position. Did it move as expected? Dynamic profiles control ongoing movements like this, which can be used for all of these variables. Here, the slide was sent back to zero, but the controller receiving a speed change returns it much more quickly than originally started. This shows the power of control in numeric mode. And now the JXC91 is moving the actuator with numeric control from the PLC. We hope you found this video useful. Look for other SMC technical training videos to assist you in controlling your automation processes.